Everybody ready? Yep. Good. What's the focus going into FSU? Well, your focus is like it is every week. You know, your techniques, your fundamentals, being sharp on your execution and your assignment. You know, that, that's what you work on every week. Do you expect them to try to take away Lamar's feet? Well, you know, I don't know what, you know, their plan is. And really what we got to do is we got to worry about ourselves. We got to worry about getting better with our fundamentals, our technique, our execution, and just, you know, getting better at everything that we do. And I've always believed if you take care of yourself, good things happen. Why do you think the running game was so effective at Syracuse? Well, I think, you know, we did a good job. But Lamar did a good job of reading things. He gave it to the running back when he should have handed it to the running back, and that caused some big runs. And then he was able to pull it, and guys did a great job blocking on the perimeter for him and letting him get in space and use his abilities from there. When you get that kind of rushing yardage, uh, that's got to make an offensive line coach smile big. Yeah, I was, I was really – I didn't even realize it until after the game, and the kids were just talking about it in the locker room, and they were excited. When they said the total, I said, wow, you did. Yeah, that, that does make you happy because, you know, it, it takes all 11 guys in offense because everybody has a part. But, you know, that's kind of something that the old linemen can look at and, you know, put a smile on their face about. What's the level of freshness after a game like that when they, you know, were in the heat and they ran up and down the field so, so long? You know, I think it helped us that we played on a Friday night and, uh, you know, we were able to have a day off Saturday and come back and get some good work in Sunday and come back out here again today. So, uh, you know, I think our guys are fresh. They're, they're feeling good and uh, ready to play. You know, having that extra day is always great. You know, uh, you really, I don't think about it, you know. So, I you just approach this as the next opponent on the schedule. And, you know, we've got to prepare to take care of what they do well and uh, at line and execute against them. And I think that's what you keep your focus on. When Lamar takes off like that, what, what's going through your mind as a coach? You know what, I really don't see it. I'm busy watching the blocking schemes internally, seeing what the defense did on the play, you know, just in case, you know, what we can run or if we hand the ball off. So I really don't get to see his run until maybe later on film. I'm busy watching what we're doing internally. You're making a pretty good show. <laughs> it, it, yeah. It's fun to watch the next day. It, it, it is. Yeah. It is. How did they grade out after all those yards? You know, we, we graded out better than we did the first game, which we needed to. You know, we needed to be better than the first game because I believe you get better every day. And if you get better every day, you get better each week. So we graded out better than the week before, but our expectations are grade out better this week. How big of a challenge are you facing? 44 is just so active. He moves around. Oh, he's a great, great football player. You know, we played against him last year. And he was very active last year and with a lot of respect for him. And uh, he really took over the second half of that Ole Miss game and uh, was a dominant force. And uh, you know, we're going to have to be at our best. What are the differences between your line last year when you played Florida State and now? Well, we're a year older. You know, we're a year older. We played, uh, you know, we finished off with seven games there, eight, nine. So we've played nine more games since that time. And uh, guys have seen a lot more. So, you know, they're definitely a year older. Coach, it's a little uh, different. Well, per se, when he gets out of the box by design, or by Both, yes, well, if he's out of the box by design, that means it's that's we, we want him out of the box. So, you know, if he gets out of the box on his own, you know, that's something he might have improvised on. So I don't know if that really falls into a protection standpoint. I've oh, been very good. He makes big plays. You know, he went up and got that post route in the first quarter. You know, the safety or the DB was with him. But, you know, being six two and a half and going up and using his ability, high point of the ball. And he's making big catches, you know, for big chunks of yardage. And uh, that's nice. When you're able to block it up and go deep to your receivers and they're able to make plays for you, that's, that's good for you. All right. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you.